Hey Planner Babes, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing my January wrap up in my planner. Um, as you can see, I had a mishap and a water bottle broke in my purse and wet all the top corner of my planner. So I'm gonna put my um, cover back on it that I got from Salty Katie Co. I really like this cover because it's pretty simple and straightforward to put on and it really protects my planner because I take it with me everywhere. The stickers I'm going to be using here to track my January wrap up, I print and cut myself using my silhouette machine. I really love that thing. It comes in handy so much. These Sterling Ink stickers really came in handy, the whole kit. There was like a really good amount of decorative stickers, not just the functional stuff. So it was very nicely interspersed throughout this month's planner. So one of the things that I feel most accomplished about this month is the fact that I actually started this YouTube channel. Um, I'm learning as I go, so things are gonna be constantly changing and I'm trying a couple of different programs, but I really like it so far. It's kinda, well, I wouldn't say hard, it's just different, it's something new. So it's, um, it is a lot of work and it's a lot of trial and error, but I'm enjoying it a lot. I like the filming more than the editing, I'm not gonna lie, just because the editing part is what's taking me longer right now. Once I get a hang of the programs and get in my own groove about it, I feel like everything will be great. For drinking, I am drinking all of the coffee and I am absolutely loving it. So I'm not going to Starbucks anymore or really Dutch Bros. I really love um, my Nespresso machine. My brother bought it for me for Christmas and it is amazing. Highly recommend. Oh my goodness, the movie Encanto, they did such a good job. I have literally been watching it on repeat. The songs have been stuck in my head. Luisa's song, the best. The songs about the, the orujitas, the little caterpillars, makes me cry. It's beautiful. I love everything about this movie. Right here, I'm using my mini slicer. I also got that for Christmas and I'm freaking loving it. It cuts really nicely, very precisely, and it's perfect for all those little details, the little cutouts, anything that I want to add to my planner that maybe I print myself or a memory keeping thing, a ticket stub, anything that I have with me that I want to add and just cut without having to pull out my jumbo slicer. <laughs> and here's a little surprise appearance made by Nikki. The best thing I eat this month and my recipe plan with me is carnitas tacos. I found a recipe on Instagram, which they also she also has a TikTok, um, Jenny Martinez. On Insta, she's Happy Bellies by Jenny, I believe. And oh my goodness, this meat was so good. So I used about six pounds of pork shoulder. As long as it's got the skin on it, it's all good. Um, just because I use the skin to make chicharrones. If you don't want chicharrones, I don't know why you wouldn't, but if you don't, then you can just use it without the skin. 
um, you're just gonna cut them into nice even chunks and you're gonna be putting them into the hot lard um, piece by piece that way it gets kind of toasty and all of your meats not sticking together so you don't have like one big lump once you add the meat and it's mostly um, sealed on the outside kind of crispy on the outside a bit then you're gonna add the bay leaf and the garlic and the salt um, once the garlic is nice and golden then you're gonna add your orange juice orange peel and your can of coke um, you can also use a can of orange fanta she said and that's just to kind of um, caramelize your meat and it gives it a really nice flavor and you're just gonna let that cook for about 20 more minutes once that's cooked all the way through you'll take it off the match and then take it out of the leftover the sauce the lard and the coke and stuff and it is freaking delicious and it pairs really nicely with the habanero salsa without it being too much so this the meat is a little bit sweet and the salsa is a little bit spicy but it's perfect together Just adding a few more decorative touches everywhere because why not? Everybody loves a pretty spread. I am writing in my title this time. I am using a thicker point pen. So I wrote all the recipe in like a 0.5 and I use the title of one. I really like the look of a printed title. I think I would need like a thermal printer to be able to kind of do just like titles and random words here and there that it, I need, but that's not a necessity right now. It can be a little ugly. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna write down the habanero salsa recipe. It's really simple and so delicious, definitely worth trying. I used two habaneros, a quarter of a large white onion, six Roma tomatoes, and then a few spices. So some consomme, pepper, and garlic salt. If you want it a little bit spicier, only use four tomatoes. Um, so you can kind of adapt it for whatever you want. The way it's made with the six tomatoes it still has some spice, but it's not overpoweringly spicy. It's very tasty. Um, so I use the pan that I made the chicharrones in. After I took out the chicharrones and the lard, I just put the tomatoes, the onion, the habaneros in there. You roast them till they're cooked pretty through. Throw them in the blender and add your spices. Blend that sucker up and it's ready in like less than 10 minutes. Definitely worth giving it a shot if you haven't tried it before. And that's it. That's all I got today. Thank you so much for joining me. Please be sure to like and subscribe. 
Um, let me know if you want to see my wrap up every month and a couple more recipe plan with me.